Hello, and welcome to Celebration of Life. I'm Brad Adams, Executive Vice President of Southwest Transplant Alliance. Celebration of Life is a program presented by the Southwest Transplant Alliance Foundation. This program is an important part of the Foundation's mission to care for donor families. I can't think of a better way to care for each of you than to honor your loved one through today's ceremony. Thank you for being here. You might have heard that STA opened a new corporate campus this year that includes a recovery center built specifically for the life-saving work that we do. The campus is anchored by a donor memorial garden, and that's where we honor and celebrate you, your loved ones, and the gift of life. I hope that sometime soon we will be able to convene in person in the garden to honor every donor and family that we serve. As we begin our program, please help me welcome Reverend Alice Hernandez, who will deliver today's invocation. A poem by an unknown author. If someone came bearing hope when all hope was lost, if someone answered the prayers of complete strangers, if even in their darkest hour, they never forgot compassion, if someone did something that was impossible for anyone but them, if someone were kind enough to bestow on others the dignity of life, if someone were powerful enough to save lives, if someone did it all, knowing fully well that they get nothing in return. Let us pray. We gather here today out of gratitude. We are grateful for the gift of organs that allow life to continue. Our gratitude tells us to keep telling the stories, keep sharing about the miraculous gifts that changed lives forever. Our gratitude is also mixed with the recognition of sadness. Sadness because of those who we had to physically say goodbye to. Our sadness looks for a place of rest and peace. And this service is one of those places where sadness can be acknowledged and turned into hope. May this time together indeed spark both rest, peace, and hope in the midst of sadness and loss. May we leave here today with more gratitude in our hearts so that we continue to share the stories that brought us here. May we leave here and continue to share the stories of hope that give our lives meaning. We lift this prayer in the name of all that is holy. Amen. I am Rene Moreno. I am the proud father of a donor, my son, Rene Moreno Jr. He was to me, not only was he my son, he was my best friend. My son Rene loved to, to help out people. That's what he loved in, in life. I decided to support my son Rene in his choice in being an organ donor because we always supported each other. And this is one thing that he really wanted to be or really wanted to do was to be an organ donor. He did great in deciding to do that. He told me when we went to go reapply uh, for a learner's permit that dad, no matter what, you make sure that they know I'm an organ donor. We kept going and, and started complaining about headaches. And I, I told him, you know what, you know, let me take you to the hospital. No, Dad, I'll let you know when I want to go. I'll tell you when I want to go to the hospital. The week came, the, the holiday came, and we're on the we're on that Monday, that Labor Day Monday. And, he passes out on his floor. And I sit him back up and I put him up and I told him, you know what, get on your bed, lay down on your bed. He goes, yeah, yeah, okay. He passed back out again, you know. I pick him up, sit him up, and I tell him, you okay? He goes, no, Dad, I just have a headache. And I go, well, let's go to the hospital. He goes, no, it's not time yet. And then he rolled back down, went into a convulsion. And I told him, you know what, you, you say it's not time yet, I'm, I'm calling 911. They came and they picked him up. The last thing I remember of my son, that he was holding the hand of a fireman, talking to a fireman, as they were carrying him out of the stretcher. When I got to the hospital, he had been intubated and sedated, and he never woke up. He was in band, he played football. When 
he was in the hospital, Southwest Transplant, the nursing staff that they had there. They made a collection and they got, bought my son a football. And they all signed it. And he had it on his, his bed as they rolled him out for the Heroes March. And it ended up that so many people showed up to his Heroes March that they walked the whole ICU staff. And while they were pushing them through the ICU staff, they were playing the, the graduation song, The Pomp and Circumstance. So he had his graduation ceremony and his walk through the graduation. What I would tell a donor family is that you know what, that person that, that was the donor still lives on. There's always hope for tomorrow. And in being a, a, a donor, you give hope and faith to other people. And so to support that is one of the hardest, but the greatest things you can do because it's hard to let a loved one go. But you know that you can always have that hope of hearing their heartbeat or getting to know the, the recipient family. It keeps his memory alive. He may be gone, but he's not forgotten. And the more that I can spread his story out there, the more he lives on. The more that people know about my son, Renee, the more he lives on. And that's what I look forward to is, is his legacy because he left the legacy. God works in mysterious ways. He's there with you. Your loved one is there with you in heart, in your in heart and in spirit. He lives on. So there's nothing to really be sad about because the selfless act that they've done to become an organ donor is one of the greatest things in life. And it's truly a blessing from God to give someone else a second chance. If I had a chance to tell my son one thing, first of all, mijo, I'm proud of what you did. And I love you, I miss you very much. He knew what he wanted to do in life, and he accomplished it. That's how I see it. The selfless gift of donation helps families find hope when they need it most. As we turn to the tribute portion of our ceremony, I hope that you'll join me in lighting a candle. The candle symbolizes light in the darkness. There are some who bring a light so great to the world that even after they have gone, the light remains. Today, we honor the organ and tissue donors as they have left their light with each of us. We honor the families they have left behind, and we honor the life that lives on because of their gift. So many of our donor heroes are honored with the pictures shared by their families in this next section of the program. As you see your loved one's image come across the screen, we invite you to light a candle and hold a special memory of them in mind.
My name is Virginia Villegas. I am the mother of Lucia Perez. She's 10 years old and she's a liver transplant recipient. Lucia was born with a condition that is called biliary atresia. Basically, her liver was not working because the bile was not flowing, so she was very sick. Um, and a transplant was the only option for her to actually live. For me to picture somebody going through the toughest moment of their life, you know, seeing a loved one being in pain or knowing that a loved one is, is they're not gonna be with them anymore and making a decision to share the gift of life with somebody they don't even know. For me, that's the kindest, selfless thought somebody can have. So to what, what I say to donor family members always is, is thank you because that's the only word I know, right? But they've allowed me to see my daughter grow, to see her planning things with her friends and making a mess in my kitchen and dressing up the dogs and dressing the family, you know, and giving me the best problems I can have, which is that I cannot keep up with her and have enough money to buy her enough books. There's a lot of people out there that are waiting for a second chance at life. What I want to tell the donor families today is Thank you very much for taking a chance on families like mine, simple families, um, you know, going to work every day, taking their kids to school, for giving me a chance, you know, to see my daughter grow up. My daughter Lucia and I uh, love to read and we love to look for words and look for the meaning of words and what they do right. And since we've started volunteering for, for STA and understanding everything that has to happen with organ donation and, and um, all the work behind it, um, sometimes I wonder what it would be, which would be the right words to, to tell a donor family. And I know this is going to sound like old, but I really haven't found the words behind the feeling of gratitude on on the side of my family. So for instance, from my family's standpoint and what we wanted to do is honor um, the donor families with our acts, I mean, with the things we do. And that, that those acts and those things are, you know, volunteering, I mean, making sure that the memory of their loved ones that have been donors right are honored the way they they should be and also with us taking the best care of the we've the, the gift that we've received in our daughter right and uh, so what i want to say today is that beyond words there, there is a lot of recipients out there honoring those heroes with what they do every day STA has dedicated staff members to connect donor families and grateful transplant recipients. When both a donor family and a grateful transplant recipient write to us and express an interest in meeting, we have the opportunity to bring both families together. This meeting is so, so special. And what we see is gratitude, respect, and hope from everyone touched by donation. To me, this is the very best part of the work we do, seeing the gift of life in a real and tangible way. So many families find comfort in talking about their loved one and being part of this amazing process. You might like to write to a recipient or maybe even meet them someday to help in your journey of healing. Information about writing to your loved one's recipients is available if and when the time is right for you. Please reach out to us at familycare at organ.org or visit organ.org for additional resources and information. On behalf of Southwest Transplant Alliance and the Southwest Transplant Alliance Foundation, thank you for joining us today. Today's program and all of the STA Foundation programs are created to care for our donor families and recipients and to support the life-saving mission of STA. Learn more about how you can honor your loved one at organ.org foundation. Thank you for being with us today.